All right, I bought a broken Neptune 4 Max. Well, not really broken. I bought it used on their website, but as damage for repair. So it was like half price. I don't know what damage for repair entails. I don't know if it's missing a belt. Someone returned it. So it was pre-owned, so we'll see. What uh, I got myself into. Is it worth it? Something I can easily fix, or am I gonna need to spend more money and I should have bought a new one? That is the question. Oh, fuck. Okay, so let's see what comes with, uh, I should probably move this here. Don't mind my head. Okay. Well, all right. I don't know if it tells you, I don't think it tells you exactly what's wrong with it. So you got screws. I mean, okay, so that's, we got the wire sensor. We have the thing for the touchscreen filament. See if there's like fingerprints or if it's been used. It doesn't look used, which is good. Uh, manual. Oh, oh, there's a warranty. All right, we got the fans, which look okay. They look kind of fucked up right there. Uh, don't know what that was. Oh man, I got a big boy here. I should have moved that. Oh well. We got frame. Cable, belt, motors, motors. Okay, we got an extruder here. Oh, that's cracked. Fuck. I don't know if you can, can you see that? It's cracked right there. I mean, it's not, yeah, it is, huh? Okay, well, it's cracked. Oh, shit. Okay, so it's off a, uh, It's like, okay, we'll check that out right now. So we got that, uh, just like this. So maybe that's all it is. Maybe it was shipped broken. They returned it because it was broken like that. Oh shit. Oh look, it looked like they did print something. Can you see that? Yeah, they printed something like a, Swirl a swirl. All right. Put that on the Neptune 4. Alrighty. Okay, well, that's loose. Oh my god, okay, so I gotta fix that first. Okay, so, ooh, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can, you see that? Look how bent that is, oh shit. Yeah, look how bent that is, and it goes The rest are straight, but this one is, so I'm gonna have to take this off the plate, but, See, these are straight, that's okay. Hmm. Yeah.
Oh no, I fell through a waterfall. So I don't think the screw's crooked, something's crooked. That looks straight, yep, yeah, that looks straight to me. So what was crooked? Yeah, I think it just doesn't have a nut. So if we put it back, it's kind of straight now. Maybe it wasn't tight. Cause look, if I do that, that's how it was. So maybe it wasn't tight and I had space to kind of move. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so update. I took one of these off that had the nuts and they're a special, Kind of weird. Oh, I can't see. They're kind of weird. So then I put it on one that didn't have it and it doesn't fit. So they aren't missing. Like that, they don't, those don't need the nuts. But they're still crooked. So I'm going to measure the size of the screw and then try to find just six, six replacements. Okay, so I figured it out. I put a washer there. Um, these things, they were, I don't know how to explain it. I should have recorded it. They were like, they scratched the metal. So it was uneven. So that's why they were tilted. I thought the screws were bent. So I put that to kind of, you know, give it more space to sit on. And it kind of covered the indent. But if you see, it's barely, they're just a little longer because I put the, the washers, but And there's no so I guess that did it <laughs> that took me forever to figure out but I, I noticed that's how they were they were moving and shifting I guess how do I explain it so let's say it was like this it wasn't completely flat it was messed up so they were like this because the metal was kind of I don't know scratched down or something so the washer, I guess it looks exactly like this. It made it flat, so now that's good. So on to the next problem, I think is gonna be this. And this is only 45 bucks on uh, Elugu, so if I need to buy a new one, I mean, it's still not too bad, but let's see. This thing's cracked, so let's see how bad cracked. I wonder if these guys bought it broken too. Oh man, that was tight. Okay, so fan spins. Everything looks Ooh, that's loose. Oh my god, it's loose. Okay, I gotta fix that. Um. Oh no! Look at that, fuck! Look at that! What the hell did these guys do? You see that? It's a focusing focus. Dude! Oh my God. So the question is, oh, that's even bent too. Yeah. So do I buy a new one or do I just buy a hot end? Okay, I'm gonna take this all off. All right, so I took it off. Look at it, it's like purposely bent and broken. Um, I think I'm gonna have to just get a new one. Oh shit. I guess that's how they break them, huh? Cause that is like, well, I gotta check the parts, but I mean, this connects to inside into the extruder, right? Like you can see it under there. Uh, and that goes inside to this. 
Hmm. <laughs> I mean, for 40 bucks, I think I'd rather just buy a new one, right? Well, I guess we'll see in about a week or something. I'll order that. This is solid now. So, that's good. Um, everything else... I think this is a, yeah, this should be the last piece. Oh man. I just got this guy chilling over here holding all these parts. Okay, first we're gonna update it. See if it turns on. So we got some power. Then I'm gonna update the, the screen with the little SD card. At least it turns on. So we go to settings, uh, about machine. Oh, I think it's already updated, 122.26. Oh well. So it definitely wasn't updated, it was an old, old version at 0.26. Uh, the updated version right now is 0.65. Okay, so Updated version, but the screen version needs updating. So now I'm gonna open this and uh, turn that on. I put the card in. That. All right. So we got. So we got it in. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? <clears throat> yep. What is it? All right. Look at that. Brand new. No cracks. Looks good. Let's switch it out and see if this is a problem. See, look at that. Street flush. Nice. So after installing the new extruder, I leveled the bed one last time and hope for the best. All right, so we're gonna try printing the benchy. Good old benchy. All right, let's see what happens. So after I saw this orange strip come out, I figured they tested it, you know, before they sold it, but I guess they just left filament in there or do they not replace the nozzle? So I don't know, but whatever. Look at that, it's done, it fucking worked. I think, I don't know. I thought it was brand new, but maybe they tested it at their site. Look at that. I don't know what the temps were. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was like 170 or something, but we can mess with that and stuff, but it fucking works, dude. All right, well, we did it. Um, it was definitely a project. I don't think I'd do it again, cause I, I guess you never know what you're gonna get. And you know, so it was the, the bed just needed tightening. This 50 bucks, this was no, no charge or whatever, but actually I think that's it. I don't know. Maybe it was just the struggle of finding out what didn't work and then trying to get it all together, which is, I mean, that's what repairing is. is. So I don't know, but I think I'd rather go with the, with the brand new one next time. So we'll see. But it was definitely fun. I'm glad I, we got it out of the way though. And uh, yeah, let's see what we're gonna print now. All right, thanks.